Hello everyone, my name is Polish Links. And this Ra Alistair Block Plus. A new visual novel on my channel made by Saka Visual, the authors of GSA and Kansai. So this will probably be a good game. So let's start right. Heal please. Feel no weeks cast holy light. Thanks. No problem. But are you sure we can do this? What do you mean? Real the sword uses blades of hundred strikes. We've been fighting for so long, I think the boss might be too much for us. Are you kidding? He hardly has any HP left. Real sword uses swift slash. But I'm almost out of my MP and I don't have any more recovery potions. Maybe we should try more before we try this boss again. But I really want that blast stone. Ruyo the sword uses blade of a hundred strikes. Besides, it's almost out of HP. I bet I could get it when with one more attack. But aren't you out of skill points? Don't worry, it will only take a minute to recharge and I can take him down with another switch slash. If you say so. Alright, all charged up. Here I go. Three of the sword is with slash. Alistair uses Blade of Darkness. Alistair has defeated the Troll of Mount Morning. Who the heck is my Alistair? Alistair has received a Blessed Stone. Ooh. What the heck? <laughs> What's that? Hey, you! Alistair! Huh? That was my kill, you! Uh, uh, this sensor! Rui, calm down before you get a warning from the global moderator! Yeah, Rui. You wouldn't want the mods to come down on you. Shut up! You are the reason I'm mad in the first place! Uh, why is that? You know very well you stole my kill. And you know that Blessed Stone is rightfully mine. Eh, the way I see it, I saved me from getting killed in boss battle. Saved me? He was about to strike, and you were too busy powering up to notice. And from the looks of your friend's stunts, she doesn't have enough MP to resurrect you. If I had come along when I did, you'd find yourself waking up in some startup with 50% less experience. You are welcome. I'm not thanking you, idiot! Fiona and I were doing just fine on our own and I want a blessed stone! Well, it's mine. No, it's mine! And I want it back! Ruyo the Sword has challenged Oyster to a duel. Are you sure you want to do this? Don't tell me you're scared! I just feel bad being beating you down, that's all. Well, you don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> if you insist. Alistair has accepted Rui of the Swords challenge. Connecting to PvP Arena. Disconnected from server and exiting game. I stare at the screen in shock for a few minutes, trying hard not to let out a scream. Finally, I slide my hands down the table. The keyboard in front of me shakes, and the student using the computer next to me stares at me in surprise. What? I glare at him and he quickly looks away. Thought so. 
The computer lab is so surpri surprisingly empty right now. I glance at the clock on the wall. Lunch will be over in 10 minutes. Figures. I always lose track of time when I'm playing Riven when online. Still, the child is school spot the internet connection. I'll bet that I automatically forfeited the duel. The Talis Jake must think I'm some sort of coward. I refresh the screen, but the blinking message on my monitor informs me there's still no internet connection. Uh, what if it's not a clean disconnect? Alistair could be hacking away at poor defenseless Rui. I bet he would too. I have to get back online right now, but it's not like refreshing my screen over and over is going to make things magically work. I need an expert. I scan the computer lab, looking for someone who might know what they are doing. Uh -huh. At the far end of the lab, leaning back in a dark corner, a guy stepping away furiously on his machine. I think I've seen him before. He's in here a lot, especially when the computer games club has meetings. I quickly approach him and flash my most charming smile. Hello. He doesn't respond. Uh, hello. I heard you for the first time. Then why didn't you answer me? I did. I know that. No, you didn't. No, you just weren't paying attention. Is this conversation going anywhere? Uh, this guy is rude. No wonder he spends so much time with computers. I bet he doesn't have even have a girlfriend. <laughs> Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> uh, yeah, you're in the computer games club, right? He raises an eyebrow as if I just get painfully stupid question. <clears throat> I'm the president of the computer gaming club, Travis. Or have you noticed? Uh, I, I didn't know. I'm surprised. You are always here in the lab playing your silly little online game while we are meeting. But I suppose you never bothered to pay any attention to us for. Otherwise, you would have known. Right. How on earth do the other members put up with this guy? So you know how to fix computers, right? His eye twitches. Only slightly, but it's obvious that he's annoyed. Maybe. Well, the internet is down. Travis lets out a long sigh, rubbing the side of his head slowly before he turns to face me. Listen, uh, Marui? Yeah, Marui. He shakes his head as if he doesn't really care. Fixing computers does not work the way you think it does. He measures each word out slowly and carefully as he's speaking to a small child. Playing his prayer. Argue. I know that how computers work. I'm just asking to see you to see if you can get the internet working again. Is that so much to ask? You know what? Yes, yes it is. Because it's not my network, okay? Uh, so all the times that the there were computer problems during your club hours, and you rushed out to fix it. It magically became your network. Uh, uh, uh. Believe it or not, I was paying attention. Fixing computers is different from rebooting a network connection. But seeing as you hold so much faith in me, I see what I can do about the internet connection if you can solve a quick puzzle for me. A puzzle? Yeah, imagine you're in one of your silly online games and there are two classes, knights and demons. Knights and demons are exactly the same in all ways but one. Knights always tell the truth and demons always lie. So? You run into two of these guys and you know that one must be a knight and one must be a demon. How? Oh. He rolls his eyes. You just do. Anyway, you are only allowed to ask one yes or no question. How do you figure out which is the knight and which is the demon? I know that sound from somewhere. Mm. You ask one of them if he's a knight? No, that, that's not that wrong. Now, if you will excuse me, I have to get to class. I suggest you to do the same. Wait, is there even a right answer? Huh, 
I wonder. He grabs a messenger bag from the ground, slings it over his shoulder and walks off. Before I have any time to think about his puzzle and longer the warning bell rings, I grab my books and dash off to class. I slide into the only empty seat left in the class just as the bell rings. Phew! Safe. The teacher begins her lecture and I summarily ignore her, contenting myself with dodging a series of flowers on my handout. Since we just concluded our section on ancient civilizations, we'll be doing a term project on it. You will be split up into teams of two. Whoever is sitting at the table with you will be your partner. I glance at the person sitting next to me. He's huddled up, huddled up in the corner, staring meaninglessly out the window. Is he sleeping? You and your partner will submit an 8-page report and give a 5-minute presentation on the topic of your choosing. I will give you the rest of the class to discuss an appropriate topic with your partner. Great, a project with some sleeping kid. He'd better not make me do all the work. I turn to face him. He appears to be awake, but he's complete, completely spaced out. Uh, hey? I wave my hand trying to get his attention. Hey Mary, we, we are supposed to be working together? Yeah. So what's your name? Shiro. Cool, nice to meet you. He's still not looking at me. In fact, he's staring so hard at the window, I'm starting to wonder if the meaning of life is written on it or something. Are you okay? His face flashes a bright red. I'm fine. You don't look okay. Are you sick? N no, I just... He glances to the side and shifts uncomfortably. We should pick a topic. Is there anything you like? I don't know. Is there anything you want to talk about? Not really. Oh, another uncooperative guy. Just my luck, running to three jerks in a row. At least she raised the mocking me. It's obvious that Travis was just making fun of me with that stupid reel of his. No matter what I ask, those dumb demons will always lie. So how on earth can I tell which is which? It's impossible. Wh what? She looks at me a bit startled by my sudden declaration. Uh, I'm sorry, I was just thinking. About what? Knights and demons? Demons? Well, not ex them demons exactly. Liars. Knights always tell the truth and demons always lie. Ah, you're supposed to ask, would the person with you claim to be a knight? Shira's face suddenly brightens. Huh? It's a reason, right? One always tells the truth, and the other always lies. Yeah. So you have to ask, would the person with you claim to be a knight? If you ask directly, both the truth teller and the liar would claim to be a knight. So you have to ask about the other one. If the knight answers, he will tell you truthfully that the demon with him will claim to be a knight. If the demon asks where he will lie and say that the person with him won't claim to be a knight. And then you can tell the difference. She just smiles proudly as he explained a riddle to me. Huh. I think I get it. It's a little complicated, but it makes sense, I think. Still, you're pretty smart to figure that out? Uh, no, I've just heard it before. I like puzzles, you see. It's a really well known riddle. I see. Shira. <clears throat> Shira, Marie. I trust that if you're getting chatty like this, you've already chosen the topic. From across the room, the teacher eyes us carefully. Oh, sorry! I turn back to Shira. We should pick a topic, huh? Yeah. He's back to his reckless self again. Ask him for a topic or suggest a topic. Is it hard decision or not? Let's ask him. 
So, was there anything you were interested in? I don't know. I was thinking we should report on one of the major cities. Okay, what about Athens? That's an important Greek city and it's a focused enough topic for us, right? That sounds good. I scribbled down Athens in bold letters in my notebook. At least we have a topic now. The bell rings and we quickly gather up our books. Uh, what's up? Shiro hands me a folded sheet of notebook paper. What is this? It's my email address. We should stay in touch. Oh, good idea. I tear the sheet in half, scribble my email address down and hand it to him. Here you go. He nods and smiles a bit before walking off, clutching his books to his chest. As soon as he leaves, I tear off down the hallway towards the computer lab. 